Hello. Yeah, it's like my trash cans and houseplant in the background. Sorry. I wanted to try my very first quail eggs because I couldn't incubate them all. So we'll see if they're still good first. If you're from the U.S., you might not know that as long as eggs aren't washed, they don't need refrigerated for at least a couple weeks. Um, and a good way to tell if they're okay or not is whether they sink. So, that's a good egg. I'm gonna put it back in the thingamajig. There's a kitten being very bad in the background. That's a good egg, too. I'm going to set it down and tell the kitten what not to do here. Oh, is the bug up there? But you're not allowed in the plants, honey. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter where the bug is. You're still... I know you want to kill the fly. Here, let me give you the fly. Have a fly. Jeez, kitten. I'm not going to win this battle. Oh, my God, kitty. Oh my god, kitty, stop! <sighs> what am I gonna do with you? What am I gonna do with this little noodle? What am I gonna do? Bugger. Alright. So that's two eggs that are good. As you can tell, the skillet's already hot. See if we get any that are bad. These were just ones that had either some dirt or traits that I didn't want in my gene pool. That one sunk. These should be like only a week old tops. Maybe a week and a half, I guess, if they were. That one never got its top layer on it. That's why it's brown. That's fine. And then this one sinks. But this is the one I had to scrub a bunch of poop off of. So we're not going to do that one. I'm going to leave it in the water. For now, because we're going to move on. Another thing about quail eggs, let me get the oil heated up here. Another thing about quail eggs that I think is pretty interesting is that you can't just like crack it on the edge like you would a chicken egg. You have to get these special quail egg scissors. And I, I've never done this before. Oh, it's upside down. Okay, let me try that again. Um, yeah, there we go. And then that just, uh, let's see how it works. So since I've never tried them before, I'm just going to cook them the whole way through. Because again, I'm not 100% sure that they're like... Oh, look, it's foaming up. That's interesting. Woo, 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 oil jumping. Okay, all right, Cal calm down, calm down. That's on low. I don't know what more I can do. Uh, so, yeah, there it goes. Oh, that one's off screen, sorry. Um... can't tilt them towards you because then it's just going to go everywhere. Yeah. Maybe I'll try it anyway just to see what happens if I tilt it towards you. Yeah, it starts to come out right away. And then some of the whites have ended up stuck. So that's the one that gets tilted towards you, so you can see it. I'm not going to do that again. 
So they say four or five eggs to equal one, I think it is, with the jumbo quail. Okay, yeah, that's not that hard to get used to with the scissors. Oops, I got a shell in there. Alright, so that's the first shell that, oops, and the scissors are already messing up. They're getting stuck. Huh. Well, they're kind of cheap, I guess. Those all end up just putting them in the dishwasher. There is a shell underneath this one, right here at the edge. I'm going to cook these totally. Hope I put down enough oil that they won't like, stick too bad. These aren't going to be yolky eggs because I'm not confident in that with this kind of egg. But with non yolky eggs, I tend to want some sort of condiment on them to make them yummy. So, I just want to find out how much I like quail eggs. So sue me. <laughs> Considering I have some in the incubator. Why don't I hit pause and finish cooking these? And then we'll do the taste test afterwards. Okay. They're cooked. I flipped them over a couple times. They're all sticking together like this, which is nice. It's almost like having one egg or one and a half, I suppose. Um, I need a fork. It's gonna be really hot. I'm gonna try it without condiments first. condiments even with the yolk. The yolk is small enough that it's not like that overpowering and it's not dry at all. Alright. I've eaten quail before but I have never eaten their eggs so this is a first. Mmm. That's really good. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna finish these. It's like the appetizer for my dinner, I guess. And, um, I don't know. I guess that's useful to know. I have heard that quail eggs have compounds in them that help reduce asthma and allergies, so that's a nice thing. It can reduce allergies to grass, I guess, specifically, which is excellent. And, um, hey, they taste really good. Like, better than regular eggs. I actually really enjoyed that, and I don't particularly love the eggs that come from chickens so yay that might just be because I've never had a like fresh one and oh you don't have to have fertilized eggs in order to have eggs but you can also eat fresh fertilized eggs so you can go either way and then eat them and hatch them out it's uh that's one of those it's up to you kind of things so I plan to have fertilized eggs so that I can continue to grow my flock and then just have meat birds for the males uh, to at least a certain percentage. So Here's hoping those little guys upstairs hatch because I want burbs. <laughs> Take care. Bye.